In today's video, I want to share with you guys some of my favorite Mac apps so far going into 2022, and it's thanks to today's video sponsor, Set App, but more on them later in the video. Let's start off with the first app, CleanShot X, a more powerful way to take screenshots on your MacBook. Within seconds of taking a screenshot, you can jump into their annotation tool and make all kinds of edits to it relatively quickly, actually. You can also pin screenshots if you wanna keep that reference available at all times as you're working. And for all of us watching that have a bunch of desktop clutter like apps and icons and files just all over our home screen, anytime you screenshot or record with this app, it will automatically hide all of that clutter, making your screenshots and videos look super clean at all times. There's even more features built into this tool. I would say about 50 plus is what they advertise. So if you wanna learn more, you can check it out after this video. The next app is AdGuard, and it's perfect for people who care about their privacy when they're online. It doesn't just block ads, it actually also protects you from tracking, phishing, and all kinds of fraudulent activities online. I just in general love having an app like this because it gives me that peace of mind that when I am browsing the internet, I am as protected as possible. The next app is Timing, and I actually just downloaded this one today, and I'm super excited about my future with the app because it's solving one of my biggest problems right now, which is really developing a good understanding of how exactly I use my computer and how much time it takes me to accomplish certain things. By understanding that, I have a better chance at improving my day-to-day -day productivity. So essentially what Timing does is it's a time automation app for how you use your computer. And it's all done automatically. I can focus on my work and it records the time I am in across all of my apps. So the real power of this app is that it can take all of this time reporting and put it into detailed analytics for me over time to review. And I'll be able to see at a glance my levels of productivity and where improvements need to be made. The next productivity app to keep on that theme here that I'm falling in love with is an app called Session. It's a Pomodoro app that helps you track your productivity in sprints. If you're not familiar, the Pomodoro technique is where you completely focus and you zone out on one task for 25 minutes and then you take a five minute break and then you do that task all over again for another 25 minutes. You do this four times in a row with five minute breaks in between. And then once you've done four Pomodoros for 25 minutes, you take a 25 minute break. And then you rinse and repeat that process until you achieve the task that you're trying to do for the day. I hope that made sense. And there's a lot of science behind this that by really focusing into something and doing it in short sprints, you actually vastly improve productivity because you can enter into a state of flow. And that's really what my goal is with this app. And that's why I love it so much. Because for me personally, it's not enough just to track how I do things on the timings app that I told you about earlier in the video, but it's also important for me to be able to track my productivity within those time periods. And the best way to do that is to measure how many times or how many 25 minute sessions am I able to achieve in a day. That's a measurable way to measure productivity in a really effective manner. This app takes it a step further than most Pomodoro trackers, as it also includes in-depth data analytics of your sessions and shows you trends and changes over time. This app is a huge winner in my book and a strong recommendation if you're looking to improve productivity. The next app is Clean My Mac X, and I've spoken about this app countless times on my YouTube channel, and it's actually for really good reason. It's an all-in-one cleaning tool for your Mac that just works. It legit keeps my Mac as decluttered and as clean as possible, and it's the reason why I have it on all of my computers. This app is high on my recommendation list, and I definitely recommend you guys check it out down below. If there was one app that I would give the golden crown to for my favorite one on the entire list, it's this app right now, Grammarly. I use it every single day to assist me in writing in all of my videos, and it does a fantastic job at correcting my grammar, giving me better ways to say things, and keeping me concise with my sentences. If there's any aspect of your career that involves writing, or if you're a student, the amount of benefit that this app gives you far outweighs the cost of owning it, you have my highest praise to check this out as 
my favorite app hands down on my computer. The next app on my list is Bartender. Many of the apps that we install onto our Mac, including the ones mentioned in this video, take up a lot of space in the menu bar on the top right of our screen. Bartender solves this problem and it shrinks all of the icons on your menu bar into a toggle menu that you can switch on or off to get quick access to the apps in the menu bar at any time. This is the perfect app for anybody who's like me, who wants to have the most decluttered macOS experience possible. All of the Mac apps mentioned in this video, except for Grammarly, are all included in a single subscription from today's video sponsor, SetApp. For the small cost of $9.99 per month, I was able to find apps that protect my privacy online and do wonders to my ability to become more productive and clutter-free on my computer. And it's not just these apps you can download. There's also an additional 220 other useful apps on their platform. A fun fact, if you were to buy each of these apps individually, it would cost you a total of $7,073. Like that's the total value of app access you have through SetApp for a small cost of $9.99, and their app library updates and grows every single month. So if you guys are interested, there will be a link in the description down below to get started today. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like, comment down below, hashtag Mac apps if you made it to the end of the video, and subscribe if you're brand new to my channel. But anyways, I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Peace.